October 28, uh, 2011, we celebrated um, the inauguration of the UHC Lockheed Martin Quantum Computer Center at UHC. So that day was a significant day for many of those involved because they realized the potential magnitude of that um, enterprise that we're starting at ISI. And this endeavor is uh, very interesting because it's not only probing the frontiers of science in the area of quantum computing, but also because it involves an actual quantum computer. Quantum computing still is a very um, fascinating area because there are many uh, concepts that are very contrary to the uh, ordinary human experience. Getting a really deep understanding of that is full of uh, fascinating uh, possibilities. The very first time I took quantum mechanics was as an elective when I was an undergraduate. And uh, trying to understand quantum mechanics was uh, very fascinating because it was a very different way of looking at the world because of the fact that uh, you have to deal with uh, probabilities. Soon you will encounter a situation in which you need a different paradigm. The existing paradigm that we have, which is based on the silicon chip, at some point may run out of possibility. And then you have to go to a next level. And that next level, uh, there are many options. Quantum computing is a very realistic option. Therefore, experimenting with this device, I would say it's almost the same as how uh, computer scientists and engineers experimented at the dawn of the computing uh, era, which is, goes back 50 years or so. The ISI leadership have been an enthusiastic champion of bringing this uh, Lockheed Martin uh, the wave uh, quantum computer at USA. We know that the top schools in the country competed along with us for this particular uh, opportunity, and we're happy that Lockheed Martin decided that uh, USC is the place for this uh, uh, investment.